World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. This is something that's absolutely blown up in 2023, and after looking into it, it's easy to see why. It's a completely different MMORPG experience to anything else on the market. It's the only MMO that you can basically complete. The main goal is to hit level 60, once you've done that you've essentially won. There's potentially thousands of hours of replayable content if you do this challenge on multiple classes, and due to the nature of the challenge every play session is meaningful, requires a decent level of focus, and you feel a much greater sense of progression and achievement compared to normal World of Warcraft. Additionally, the content made around Classic Hardcore is also top tier. Watching streamers or YouTubers do this challenge is epic content because you want to see their reaction if they die or not. Also watching Asmongold's reactions to the Hardcore Death compilations is extremely entertaining, as with the power of hindsight you can try to understand what a player could have done differently to survive. So what is Hardcore? Basically, death equals delete. No trading, no grouping in the open world, you can do each dungeon once only if you group with other hardcore characters, no bubble half for paladins, no asking for buffs or help, basically a self-reliant mode that for a long time has been enforced with the hardcore add-on and by playing on unofficial hardcore servers. Now recently, Blizzard have announced that there will be official hardcore servers coming soon, which will have a few cool additions such as Duel to the Death as well as a few differences from unofficial. For this series though, I'll be starting my first hardcore character on the unofficial servers, because as someone connecting to Europe from Southeast Asia, I often get disconnected from playing WoW, sometimes resulting in death. Thankfully, unofficial servers allow you to appeal disconnect and grief deaths, which is one of the main reasons I'm kinda hesitant about playing the official hardcore. Imagine getting to level 59, 150 plus hours of grind only to die to a disconnect. That would hurt like hell. With all that said, let's begin the adventure with classic hardcore, and if we die, we go again. But first, sponsor. Snowbreak Containment Zone is a brand new 3D sci-fi shooter cross-platform on PC and mobile, where you assemble a team of the cutest waifus then take to the streets to decimate the forces of evil. In this game you'll take on giant epic titan bosses that inflict destruction on the environment, and each have their own unique mechanics that you'll need to figure out to defeat. Gun down groups of enemies with each waifu's unique skills from an over the shoulder third person perspective, then unleash big damage with your ultimate ability to ensure nothing survives. Customise your weapons with various attachments such as scopes, extended mags and silencers for maximum destructive potential. Enjoy the game's vibrant art style with each waifu having their own distinct look as you traverse the game's many environments such as city streets, underground and shantytown, and switch up the waifus in your three member team to give you a new approach to beating certain encounters, as each waifu has their own speciality, skills and strengths. Snowbreak Containment Zone is a truly global game and supports three voiceover languages including English, Japanese and Mandarin, as well as 10 text languages. So what are you waiting for? Pre-register for Snowbreak Containment Zone now via my link in the description below, and by pre-registering you can claim these exclusive time-limited rewards on screen, as well as participate in the coming beta test from June 1st, with the official launch coming July 20th. Pre-register for Snowbreak Containment Zone now. Wow, classic hardcore. I've already decided what I want to play, and I want to be a human mage. Reason for playing mage, my first WoW character was a mage. Reason for playing human, I just like Elwyn Forest, I find it super nostalgic. Don't want to call myself the lazy peon because I don't want to get- Bruh. Vertex. Surprised I got that name, it's like the number one Muay Thai brand. Vertex, level one mage. Let's begin the adventure. The nostalgia of this intro cutscene gets me every time. It's such a good intro cutscene, the way you can see all of the other players running about adventuring. It makes you feel like you're stepping into a populated world full of other players, full of adventure. It's great. Well, that was a cozy intro. Classic hardcore. So here it tells me all of the rules. I've obviously researched all of the rules beforehand. Begin adventure. Just clean up the UI a bit. I like to keep the UI as classic as possible. So before we begin, there's a few settings we need to enable. As much as it hurts immersion, we want to always show nameplates. Apparently I can increase the zoom out distance. This will give me better situational awareness. Before we begin, there's a special add-on I want to install that actually, like, reads the quest text via AI voice. It looks really good, so let's go enable that. This is the add-on, voiceover classic. The human lands are threatened from without, and so many of our forces have been marshaled abroad. Straight away, I like this voiceover add-on. I forgot how mana-hungry a mage is in classic. 
A few fireballs and you're out of mana. Level two, resist. I forget that that's a thing. Smack him with my staff. All two mobs at once, why not? Surely not gonna die to two level ones, are we? No way. Hey, we've made our first silver. Chat to the mage trainer. Conjure water and food, that's gonna be useful. Fuck, this is so relaxing. So I just feel happy. Excited to get my conjure water ability already. Fire deals damage, yet yeah, that'd be a unlucky way to die, wouldn't it? Imagine like walking over a fire, disconnecting on the fire, and then like dying. That'd be rough. Maybe you could like appeal that though, as like a disconnect death. Isn't it beautiful? We're back in 2004, everyone's running around. Game feels popular. The longer the kobolds are left unmolested in the mine, the deep- Wait, what? Did he just say unmolested? What? I've never noticed that quest text before. Obviously, I don't read quests. I can already tell that using this uh, AI voiceover add-on is going to be quite entertaining. Fighting our first aggressive mobs now. We're going to watch that we don't get spawned on. We're low on health. Let's just zoom out and be careful here. If we get unlucky and another mob spawns on me, we might just die. Level 4. I'm seeing in the death log that some people are dying at level 5. Probably mobs just spawning on them, to be honest. I wonder what's going to cause my first death. It's hard to imagine, really. Now we can get Conjure Water and Frostbolt. Quest complete, level 5. Oh, God. Random disconnect. I hope that doesn't happen too many times as I'm playing this game. I bet that's how I'm going to die. I bet I'm going to die to a disconnect. Oh, this one has a Q. How long does it take to respawn? I actually forgot about this. This is probably like the worst part of Classic WoW, having to wait in queues because of the mob respawn timers. It's going to be so many quests like this and it's going to be a uh, torture. Three more places to go. We're now third in the line. It's nice to see people actually respecting the line. Okay, me next. It's going to spawn any second. Any second. Okay, we got him. GG. I'm not a fan of those queuing up for mobs quests. Northshire quests complete. Let's head on over to Goldshire. The weathers took a turn for the worst. Oh, we should have taken our professions. So I've already decided my two professions that I want to level. I'm just going to go with herbalism and alchemy. We'll just keep it nice and simple. Also pick up cooking. Here's the herbalism trainer. Alchemy. Beautiful. Kind of want to get to level six before I venture into this cave. Caves are notoriously dangerous. So we ain't going to take any risks. Nice. Got a healing potion drop. Huge. Got a robe drop. Nice upgrade. Level six. Now I can learn fire blast, which is pretty huge. So if they're all spawning now, it's probably my chance to go inside and get this quest done. <laughs> I'm spooked. I don't want to do that yet. I haven't gone in a cave with aggressive mobs yet. Maybe I should, like, level up first. I don't know. I'm really inexperienced with this challenge. <sighs> Let's not take the risk. Level 9 bear, bro. Be careful. Wait, where am I going? The wrong direction. That's where. Half stone. Fuck it, I'm lazy. No. Don't be lazy. Huge. Fireball rank 2. Learn first aid. When do I get blink? Level 20. It's gonna be nice. Oh, my bags are full. I uh, should probably go sell some stuff then, I guess. Be nice if I got lucky and got a bag drop. That's a good I guild name, live to, live to Win. Best Thanks guild you, name. Bags for sale. Ooh, five silver shop. for a bag. I ain't made of money. Level yeah, seven. Gets... Maybe it's worth me just chilling and killing balls. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Get fucked, rabbit. When's it gonna stop raining in Goldshire? It's been raining for hours, it seems. Getting a little bit sick of this weather over here. Head on over to Stormwind. I don't know what quests are worth doing here. Oh, this guy's got a mount. Level 44. Good job saving up for that mount. Uh, when you hit level 40. Wait, he's a paladin. Never mind. You get it for free as a paladin. I forgot about that. Topper McNab. Never noticed that guy before. I feel like when I play vanilla, I just kind of take more notice of the world. I look around more. Half back to Goldshire. Since I've got five silver, let's invest in a bag. Here I encountered another quest where the mob was getting insta-killed on respawn. I got a bit tilted and cut the line that eventually formed. After that, I completed some quests, gathered every herb along the way, dinged level nine, and got a much needed bag drop. Back to the tavern, sell some junk, and buy some new abilities. Polymorph, Frostbolt Rank 2, and Arcane Missiles, which in hindsight I shouldn't have wasted the money on, because Arcane Missiles is a bit useless. 
another named mob quest with a Q. This one I tried to do multiple times, but I guess due to my ping I just couldn't get it, so I gave up and skipped this quest entirely. After hours, it's finally stopped raining in the Elwyn Forest. Ah, uh, Elwyn Forest is so much more enjoyable when it's not raining, and you can actually see where you're going. Cozy vibes once again. Quest complete, get ourselves a new robe. Yep, looking good. Let's sell some junk and kill some murlocs. Drink minor potion. Okay, you cheeky murloc. It's done some big damage to me. I'm playing a little bit safe at the murloc area. I'm basically drinking and eating after every pull. I know things can go wrong very quickly here. Level 10. Okay, 8 out of 8. We didn't die to murlocs at level 10. I'll take that as a W. Oh, look, this is cute. A group of 1, 2, Three level 34s, probably doing the challenge as a trio. Okay, so now I'm level 10. Talk to my mage trainer. Conjure water rank two, let's go. Frost armor rank two. Frost Nova, absolutely huge. I've now got a bit of an escape or a CC. I can now like kind of run away. Once again, returning to Stormwind. Lay orb or lay staff. Lay staff, pretty nice upgrade. And we have our first green. Wait, don't I unlock talents now? Yo, I do, I completely forgot. Are we going to be a fire mage or a frost mage? Boop. Oh, we uh, accidentally misclicked on that and I guess we're going frost mage. <laughs> Actually just misclicked the talent and chose the talent, so okay. There's no button, this is are you sure you just click it and okay, it's locked in, right? Okay. It's a good talent anyway, it's fine. Level 11. What, is bro going to die to hogger? Bro, are you going to die to hogger? What are you doing, my friend? Let's just observe this paladin... Trying to solo Hogger. Oh, he's luring it to the guards. Does that count as a W? It, it does. He's looted it. Okay. So you can kill Hogger by luring it to the guards. Didn't actually know that. Yo, you got the name Giga Chad? <laughs> he's not wearing a chest piece. He actually looks like a Giga Chad as well. 10 out of 10. It's quite cool playing the game and having to keep on top of your professions. I've never really done that in WoW before. Professions have always been something that I've completely ignored. Because you've never really had to pay attention to them, but it feels worth it in this version of the game. 41 silver, definitely time to get a full set of bags now. Oh, sweet, sweet inventory space. With my newly acquired bag space, I ventured into the world and started chill questing whilst listening to nostalgic early 2000s music whilst playing my 2004 game. I did some mob grinding on boars, South Park style, and got to level 12. I actually find mob grinding in WoW Classic kind of chill. Put on some music, relax, and slaughter all of the wildlife whilst sipping on a nice cup of coffee. Very cozy. With all those balls slain, I got to Journeyman cooking and also took the opportunity to get Journeyman first aid. I learned some new skills, and with that, I was ready to face the challenges of Westfall, the zone that apparently has the most hardcore deaths. Tune in next time to see if Fairtex the human mage will survive to see another day. Social media on screen, help us out with a like to bless our hero on his adventure, and I'll see you in the next one.